Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts back with a prophetic end times dream from We Love It, our viewer, one of our viewers. Here we go. 3-19-2012. These beautiful orbs appeared to everyone. I saw a blue orb appear in front of me. It was so beautiful and vibrant. I was drawn to touch it. I put my hand under it to cradle it. The air around it was warm and it sort of vibrated with an electric feel. As soon as I touched it, it exploded with such a bright and penetrating light. I had to look away. But when I saw back, but when I looked back, I saw a person outstretched from its huge magnificence with colored wings of light. I don't remember her face, but I knew immediately what it was. I ran to the window. The person followed me. It didn't talk, but it floated. There were people on the street below who had the same orb as I. When they touched it, they were instantly taken. It didn't let them witness and wait like my orb did. Whole families, children, women, men just disappeared. The city was quickly turned. It was quickly turning into rubble as chaos slowly began to spread. I remember looking at some as they began to take what others had and they would say things like, man, look all this stuff I ever wanted. Well, I remember thinking, I pray I can go. I can let go of the things. So that doesn't happen to me. The angel said something calling my attention. The words came out sounding jumbled. I, I couldn't understand with my ears, but with my spirit, I knew. It opened its wings and said, stay or come. I chose to stay and spread the truth so that I could help others who didn't know. The angel then spoke and he said this, then I will stay. It clothed itself in flesh for me. See now, this part made me cry when I woke up. Something so pure thought me worthy and important enough to give me a choice to clothe itself in this earthly form for me? Every dream after that, I was never alone. Now that's kind of an interesting dream, isn't it? <laughs> wow. So some of us may be kept here by our choice, of course in order to help other people. See, we don't know how this really plays out. Some people believe that once Jesus comes, it's all over. Others believe there's another chance. I'm not claiming to know because I ain't Jesus, I ain't God. And when you read the Bible, some things allude to one, some allude to another. So I just leave it all alone and say, when he comes, I want to be ready. And I hope you do too. Okay. So let's leave it at that and try to live as holy and as clean as we can and please God in our walk and not play games with this so-called faith because it's so-called faith if you're not filling it with works. You hear me? It's nothing but jib-jab, nothing but, but, but jaw-jacking if you're not living anything. God bless you and keep the faith. Amen.